This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 84, Sucky Things, by Neghar Fanuni of NegharFanuni.com. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Health Daily, the podcast that brings you the best content in health, fitness, and nutrition five days a week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Dr. Neil Malik. Hey, it's Dr. Neil again, and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily. Happy Thursday. I can't believe it's almost to the weekend already. Now, before you know it, we'll be doing another one of our monthly drawings to give away a book. Now, if you want to have a chance to win, you just need to be a part of our free weekly newsletter before then. You can enter your email address at oldpodcast.com or for a faster way to join, just text the word Batman to the number 44222. Now, today's inspirational quote comes from Chip and Dan Heath, best-selling authors. Prepare to be wrong. Now, as you're going to see, this pertains directly to today's post. So with that, let's get this going and start optimizing your life. Sucky Things by Neghar Fanuni of negharfanuni.com. Plants are disposable, right? Like they last for a little bit, then die, and then you buy new ones to replace them. Am I doing this right? Well, yes and no. See, I'm doing it and killing them and learning and starting over again and not giving up. So no, plants are not technically disposable, but whilst on my journey towards shedding my black thumb status, I'd say this is a definite win. So yes, I am doing it right because I'm doing it in the first place. My dad was always a fabulous gardener. From herbs and fruit plants to roses and cacti, his garden was something I admired from afar. I've never been a green thumb. Case in point, I kill succulents. Succulents, they're the most low-maintenance plants in the universe, and I've somehow managed to kill every single one I've ever owned until now. Even though I've failed in a sense, I refuse to give up. I talk to more desert plant experts like Dustin, the hilarious Vietnamese guy that has owned and operated Venice plants for the past 21 years. I buy books, I study succulent and cacti blogs, I get in the dirt and plant and replant and try again until I get it right. I'm failing sometimes, yes, but I'm learning as I do so. Two months ago, I would have told you I was a terrible gardener, and now I'd say I'm a fabulous work in progress. About the time that I decided to journey from black thumb to shades of gray, I also made a conscious effort to start focusing on endeavors in which I normally suck. Gardening, running, barbell snatches, biting my tongue, aka not processing my response. Double unders, apologizing, just to name a few. You might ask, why would anyone want to spend time focusing on what they're bad at? But the thing is, I actually want to be able to do these things with more enthusiasm and authenticity. I don't want to be the kind of person who says, oh well, I kill all my plants, when I'm also the kind of person who wants a home filled with plants. I could either keep sucking and avoiding the suckiness, or I could muster the courage and wherewithal to face them head on. So what did I choose? Well, let's just say I've spent a hell of a lot of time in discomfort zone. But, but, while many of my succulents did in fact meet their doom, I actually zeroed in on why and learned some valuable gardening lessons. Thanks, Dustin. I also learned how to propagate a succulent, a process in which you trim part of a plant, let the stem callus over, and replant it in the hopes that it will take root. And you know what? Some of my plants did take root. When I pulled them out to repot them in various succulent gardens, I was so excited and proud. I lost some, but I won some too, and ended up with these lovely gardens. But only because I tried in the first place. Only because I wasn't afraid to fail. And because I faced my suckiness head on, I ran a sub eight minute mile this week, which is the fastest I've run one since I was in the Air Force and 20 pounds lighter. Because I stopped actively avoiding barbell snatches, I've gone from shaky and unconfident to plus 20 pounds in the past two months. Once I stopped saying, I can't do double unders, I was able to knock out a few, then a few more. Not too long ago, while at CrossFit, I banged out 50 unbroken double unders. As far as biting my tongue and apologizing go, well, you'll have to ask my significant other about that. Although I'm sure I've made some progress. The point is, I got better. And more than that, I stopped running. I used to be the kind of person who was afraid to fail or look stupid. 
The idea of being bad at something made me feel embarrassed. But now I find myself embracing the discomfort zone and all the growth that happens within it. It's in our nature to avoid the things we really suck at, to run and hide and only show our good side. Why the hell wouldn't we? I mean, who wants to expose their weakness? A few months ago, I would have said, not me. I would have continued to avoid the sucky things, and as a result, missed out on an extraordinary sense of accomplishment. All of these sucky endeavors can be intimidating and downright frightening, but they're also where the magic happens. It's where we grow and evolve, and where we discover the fullness of our being. You just listened to the post titled, Sucky Things, by Neghar Fanuni of negharfanuni.com. Now, I don't know about you all, but when I got to reading the part of the post where Neghar mentioned how she did 50 double unders without stopping, I wanted to kind of stop and applaud. This post to me was so inspirational, and it really hit home. When I'm at the gym, I'm always thinking about, you know what, I'm a personal trainer, people might be looking at me for proper form and all this, I should look the best at every single thing I do. But I found that that was limiting. I realized it's okay to mess up. It's okay to be wrong. And that was so much more freeing. Now, once again, you can be entered to win a book with us every single month on the first of the month, but only if you're part of our weekly newsletter. To sign up, come by oldpodcast.com and enter your email address. Or you can text the word Batman to the number 44222 for a faster way to join. And that's it for now. I hope you have a great rest of your Thursday. Remember that tomorrow is a special Q&A show where I answer your questions right here where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, and together we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us and remember your optimal life awaits.